Martin Mulder here for On The Tracks of 007 with episode 2 of 7 minutes of Bond locations. Today we'll be looking at the early Bond locations in Istanbul, Turkey. And more specifically I will show you some of the lesser known locations from From Russia With Love. But we will start off with the question that should be in every Bond quiz. What is Kronstein's nationality? Any idea? It's not Russian. In fact, the very first thing he says in the film is the answer. So let's hear it from Kronstein himself. Check. Ian Fleming visited Istanbul when he was working for the Sunday Times and he took the Orient Express back to London. That inspired him to include all this as a setting for his fifth novel, From Russia With Love, which he wrote in Jamaica in 1956. It would become the second Bond film in 1963 and just like in the book, uh, much of the action would take place in Istanbul and in that famous train. It's my favorite Bond film and I visited the city in 2001 for the first time together with my German co-writer Dirk Klosterboer. I must say I truly love the city with its mystical atmosphere. The many mosques with their tall minarets gave the city a magical skyline while the mighty Bosporus River serves as a natural border between the European and the Asian sides of the city. My favorite moment though was strolling through the city on a Sunday morning. All the shops and all the markets were closed and the tranquility was simply surreal. Uh, moving on to the first location I want to show you, uh, the killing of Krilenko. Bond and Kirim Bey visit Krilenko's block knowing that when Kirim's sons, disguised as policemen, ring his front door bell, the killer will escape through a secret hatch. And so it happens. Kerem shoots Krilenko when the latter crawls through a hatch hidden behind Anita Ekberg's mouth. It's often thought that this city location was just behind the train station, but it's not the case. It does still exist, although the building where the hatch was has been demolished. We found it near Shezade Mosque, close to the Ataturk Boulevard. What you see in the film is what is known as a sabil, a small kiosk in the Islamic architectural tradition where water is freely dispensed to members of the public by an attendant behind a grilled window. And there are many of those in Istanbul, but there's only one that has exactly the same architecture and grilled window ornaments. Another uh, very unknown location is where Kerim and Bond drive towards the gypsy camp. It's a small shot, but it's just outside the city, near the castle. So now that we got those covered, uh, it's time to move more out of the city, because we're looking for the two railroad crossings that can be seen in the train scene. The first one is a shot of the train passing Kirim's son, who is puzzled because it does not stop. And the second one is the crossing where Grant is supposed to get off, where the flower truck is waiting for him. At the time that I went to Istanbul for the first time, uh, I had to work with printed photos uh, and, and, and screenshots and, and asking for help from taxi drivers. Uh, uh, but nowadays, Google Maps and Google Street View can be a great help. There is only one train route in and out of Istanbul, and this is also the route used in the film. It leaves Sirkeci station and goes around the old center on the south side. There it passes a mosque visible in the film. Then the train leaves the city and goes into rural Turkey, at least back in the 60s. There was absolutely nothing there apart from a few farmhouses. The first crossing can be found here. What was rural outskirts back then is now under full development, but you can clearly see the background line up with the film background. The 
The second crossing we are looking for is in fact the next crossing you will pass when leaving Istanbul by train. Here as well a lot has changed, but when you look at the layout of the area, with the water so close to the track, this is basically the only place where it could have been filmed. Istanbul should be high on everybody's travel bucket list, uh, as it really is a beautiful city. If you can look past the current political climate, uh, you will find Istanbul a city that belongs in the top 10 cities of the world, easily. So I can only encourage you to go there, uh, visit these locations yourself. So that's it for today. Um, I'll pack my stuff, uh, hope you enjoyed it and I see you on the next adventure. For more info on this and other Bond destinations, check out onthetracksof007.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.